and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Zillion Talia going to be our next uh, meme tier deck. Now what's really cool about this deck is we are going to be playing a Zillion Talia list with Ursine Spearwalker. That's right. We're going to be playing Stormclaw Ursine that's going to have the, or Ursine, however you want to pronounce that, 6-6 six, six Overwhelm that all of our other allies with 5 plus power have Overwhelm. So what we're going to try to do is get this Talia to have Overwhelm. Now as you can tell, Talia only has 4 power, gotta have 5. So to be able to help it get to 5, we got a few things. We got Siphoning Strike, grant our ally champions everywhere plus 2 plus 2. And then we also have Xenotype Researchers that can uh, help buff up Italia sometimes. And then we also have the Scar Grounds. If we have this landmark in play, have an ally survive damage, then boom, now it's plus one, plus zero, and tough. Also, Shapestone. This can be kind of cool, like where the opponent's not really expecting it, right? Like we just have the uh, Stormclaw Ursine in play, Talia's in play. They don't think that they're like, oh, well, Talia's only four power, and then it, it's our priority. Then boom, we Shapestone the Talia. Now it's five power. You know, you know, then it, you know, it actually goes to seven. You know, but then it gets the overwhelm suddenly attack they they're not expecting it we can even do that after blocks like this is just like a um like a passive ability right so like we can we can attack um uh, with talia they block with something thinking okay it doesn't have overwhelm then we buff it up then it has overwhelm so that could also be really cool too um so there we go so that's that's some kind of cool stuff we also got salt spires in here that's going to make some grump, grumpy rock bears, and the grumpy rock bears are going to uh, be overwhelmed with the spirit walker. Um, as far as turning on the plunder, like we have to turn on plunder to enable this. So we have three copies of Ice Shard, three copies of Blighted Ravine, also Zillion. It's going to make some time bombs. Time bombs will help enable plunder. They will also be landmarks for Talia. Um, so they got some. So they got some good. Uh, synergy with the rest of the deck there they'll also draw a bunch of cards help us with our xenotype researchers and stuff um so that's what our deck's doing a bunch of cool little things like that um, besides that we just got like more predict looking for time bombs or talia or just whatever and things like that so really cool little meme tier deck here zillion talia let's go play our five games in normal here you go all in fiora here you go Jump. Jump. Okay, now you're gonna have Harvey in the way? Yeah. There you go. You're sitting there, look at me. All right, what do we got? We got a couple ancient preparations, a shape stone, a three sister. We're gonna go ahead and mulligan, mulligan, mulligan. We'll keep one ancient preparations. Oh, I guess, okay, wait, 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 wait. We're facing all in Fiora, right, okay. So, um, just having like random two twos, not very good against Fiora. So. I Kind of want to mulligan both of those. I do want to keep three sisters for the Flash Reese, Fury of the North. And the Shapestone plus three plus one actually sounds pretty cool also. I guess we'll keep one of these. Okay. All right. There we go. Final answer. Gonna get some time bombs. Time bombs. The KPI is depending on me. All right, there's a time bomb. We'll just take that. They haven't played Fiora yet. Maybe no Fiora? It's possible. It's possible no Fiora. I want to level up Zillion. You know, like, I know, like, that time bomb's not hitting anything, but that's okay. Wow, no Fiora. So that's the thing about the Fiora deck, is you do have a fail rate, like, whenever you're going all in Fiora. Like, if you don't have, if you don't draw either Fiora or Entreat, um, you know, you do have a fail rate if you don't have one of those six cards. Was, I think, it was, like, it was a legit one. 
Legit win. Alright, Aurelia Azir. This deck pretty good. I don't think that this one's going to be as easy. That card's gone. I think we're keeping Shapestone. Yeah, we keep Shapestone. Ooh. My card's looking pretty cold, puppy. When you're a normal, you just instant surrender to Aurelia Azir. Saying, I'm trying to do fun stuff, not die by turn five or six. Men die, but Shirima lives forever. Well, Sharima does live forever. That's new. You're provoking it. Stand down. Kinda wish I had. Siphoning strike right about now, but they would just bounce back to their hand. Oh dear, who upset the tower guardian? I can hate you. You will listen. Sedition. Maybe I should have kept the Blighter Ravine on top, but... Scargrounds is really good against this deck. Yeah, I mean, no really so far, but I mean, they have a lot of cards left in hand. Like, they have more cards left than I do. Which isn't a good sign. Not good. Should have kept that Blighter Ravine, probably. Yeah, your deck's pretty good, opponent. All right, this game, this game's just over right now. They they play the Blade Dance. The, you know the attacks. That's that's three things attacking. What? No, go back and do that. Do that. Go back. Oh, yeah. It would have been four things stacking. All right. So, anyway, Azir levels up here. Or Yeah, no. If they would have just played this, then Azir would have leveled up. And then the voice... The... I'm confused by what they're doing. They're just, like, letting me kill their stuff. We're still gonna, like, the game's, like, basically over. We're still gonna take tons and tons of damage, but it was, like, definitely over if they would have displayed this flawless duet at first. Like, we're still taking millions of damage, but it's... Because, yeah, all they had to do was just play that first, and then the Voice of the Risen would have given all these plus two, plus zero, and there's just no way we could have stayed alive through that than a regular attack. But now we're at five at least. So we're not like dead, I guess. I will my own path. No. Yeah, I guess I should have played Salt Spire first because I was I was expecting I was thinking that I was gonna be blocking like Sand Soldiers like that round and stuff like that, but then we weren't. You know what I mean? But yeah, it's it's still over.
And if, if you can't answer his ear, it's basically impossible to beat that deck, and we just can't answer his ear. Like, these... Our removal spells just don't kill his ear, unfortunately. Alright, so Zoe, Shivana, Aurelian Soul. Also a deck that goes pretty big. Yeah, there are good answers to his ear. Like, Culling Strike is one that comes to mind. Of course, there's, there's always, like, you know, answers to the answer. Alright, so the plan is Scar Grounds, and then Salt Spire. I don't know why I didn't just play Zillion here. I probably should have just played Zillion. And then Salt Spire, then Talia, copy Salt Spire. deck doesn't kill champions very well. I mean, I, I should have kept the Siphoning Strike last game. That's kind of like our only way to kill champions, the Siphoning Strike. Hey, <laughs> yeah, tryhards and normals. Yeah, we are, we are facing some tryhards these last two games. But I mean, there, there could be people new to their decks and stuff, but... Oh, Salt Spire is a 4-4? Four, four? No, it's a 5-4. It's a <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't have the fourth landmark, so it doesn't get the plus 2, plus 2, but like we're going to get multiple 5-4s. That should help out. I had that ancient hourglass that I just put on top. The thing is, like, when you cast, like, if you cast in tomb and you put this landmark in play, it doesn't count towards Tali's level. It doesn't count as you summon a landmark because you put it on the other side, and that's lame. It should, because you're you're the one summoning a landmark. So scar grounds would make this tough and buff it up. I guess I just... So yeah, I'm, I'm setting up, like, the Sharp Sight block. The Sharp Sight block would still kill these 5-4s anyway. These rocks fit a lot of cards in hand still. I have twice as many cards as we do. Maybe casting this Chrono Shift. Right, what are you doing? Putting Shivana in front of Screeching Dragon? What's up, Brad? Day's going good. We're playing really fun meme tier decks today. 
Stay's going good. Witness my true power. Some of our opponents' decks are just a lot better than ours. Like this, <laughs> this deck with, um, you know, like these different Demacia spells. It's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> Finally, a time bomb. Now, when am I? Yep, that's kind of the point of being turn one day, though. <laughs> you just we're in normals. We hope to not face the tier one decks in normals, but sometimes we do. It doesn't always go so well. And that's okay. So Time Bomb does get underneath um, Spell Shield. I would have liked to play the Ancient Preparations last round, but you know, we're just, of course, um, filled up on spots. Okay, I don't think that did anything. Thank you for wasting a hush. I, I appreciate it. All right, cool. Looks good, looks good. Well, at least we got a lot of fight spells out of their hand. The benefit of it's at least we did that. Alright, but now we gotta find something good. Give me something good. Ooh. Siphoning Strike is interesting. But it should probably just be the Time Bomb. They're going to be killing my Zillion, you'd have to think. Yeah, it's got to be just the Time Bomb. See, like, they get to attack, they get the Strafing Strike. It'd just be difficult for the Siphoning Strike to really work. I'm not going to play the other Ancient Preparations, because I don't want to reset the top of the deck again. You gotta imagine, like, our champions are kind of dead. We can... We can take that, though, and force them to... Like, I guess they can only kill one of them. Hey, Mountie, thanks for the raid. Yeah, having a, a nice, fun stream so far. Another zillion. Now I have it. Another zillion and another Talia. So whichever one they kill, we got a backup. Um, I will pass. You gotta imagine they're gonna use a safe, the strafing strike. Oh wait, I have nine man. I could have drawn that zillion. Could have had chrono shift. Yeah, I could have chrono shift. Oh well. I'll just play New Zealand. New Zealand cool. Now, then, or soon. New Zealand cool. So I don't like ancient preparations. Just these two twos of this late game is just not any good. 
What kind of landmark can we get with this Talia champion spell? Are there any good ones? I don't know why they changed the animation for Aurelian Soul, but it's not a pleasant animation. With how long it takes, it's not a pleasant one. Surprise. I would love to put another time bomb in play, but we don't have the room. Because the stupid 2 2. Man, I would love to put another time bomb in play. Um, I guess I just kind of pass. Yeah, I guess I just pass. Yeah, that's kind of a problem with landmarks, especially one like Ancient Preparations that just puts in some 2-2s two that really don't matter. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, those cards are a little better than ours. Alright, get to play a deck a little bit more our speed. The Scargrounds has kind of been disappointing. It's just kind of taking up space. I like this Desert Naturalist. I can blow up our opponent's um, landmarks, whatever they're doing over there. I think that, like, you know, playing Ionia with this, you'd think that they're playing the three mana Ionia landmark, the Monastery of Piranha. I think that that's what they're trying to do over there. And so we want our Desert Naturalist to blow up that monastery. Haven't I been here before? Yeah, the this the onboard space problems with this deck hasn't looked great. Ah, a paradox. At another time, we might have been friends. Not sure what that attack was all about, but I'm just gonna let it happen. I think it'd be good to have a backup zillion. If your prediction is correct, we have much to look forward to. Alright, no monastery. At least not yet. Just a moment. Oh yeah, they they want their zillion to die, because they got a backup zillion. They want to play new zillion. <sighs> Gotta make sense. Got it. Xenotype Researchers. I love that card. We can draw just a ton of cards. Going Talia, Copy, Preservarium. Get just a ton of cards. But honestly, maybe too many cards. Like that, that combo kind of gives you too many cards. That's new. You're provoking it. Carefully, researchers. There's no rush. Hmm. Turn it like so. <laughs> no, I, I didn't watch E3. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, Rad. Time, I didn't. I, I don't I don't really know what was what was high you know what was highlighted or anything. All right, so I did the, the Xenotype Researchers first, get the, like our, our plus three, plus threes in there. I... I don't think, you're fast. think this is going to work out amazing for us. Why not drop in the Scar Grounds? I don't... I've been kind of disappointed with Scar Grounds and with our board space. I may just blow up Scar Grounds for Naturalist. So they're recalling the Conservator so they can recall the Zillion. I'm sorry to say, time isn't really an illusion. Did 
Their deck's doing zillion stuff, but much more powerful zillion stuff than what we're doing. Which is not too good for us. I like that card a bunch, like the one mana recall. Maybe they're not gonna have the monastery. I mean, also, you know, I want to blow up the monastery with this thing, but maybe they just aren't gonna have the monastery. Interesting reaction. I'll make a Look at this. You call that sneaky? Okay, good. I like getting rid of those. I wanted to play the other Xenotype again before playing Zillion. Oh, Preservarium. I will take you. A paradox! At another time, we might have been friends. Now we'll be able to, like, Preservarium, copy Preservarium, and draw a bunch of cards. Because now we'll have the room for that. Like, in our hand and in the board. Give me their first. Zillion's gonna dominate. The team just gets countered or they just bounce their zillion. But it does keep their zillion from leveling up. There's no way the attune works though, right? It's my best play. If it would work, you know, we'd have the naturalist to blow up the entomb. I doubt it works, but if it does. Yeah. Here's our chance. <laughs> Yeah, Pun has a cool deck. These, uh, we did a zillion monastery deck like this before. It's it's a lot of fun to play. Your games are gonna last forever and everything like that, but it's it's really cool. It's really fun. The Ionia bounce cards make it like a like. It's not as good against. It doesn't play great defense against aggro, but if you're not playing against like a, a real aggro deck, it's pretty awesome. So you just you have so much card advantage and like with the time bombs and everything it's just like all inevitability basically wow they gave up I guess they just didn't have the the stomach to keep fighting I guess <laughs> I guess they didn't want to just keep playing a, a long game I suppose it's, that deck doesn't play a short game all right, but we got Gangplank Swain. Let's see. No, never mind. I was gonna say I like Hourglass Protect Zillion, but actually I don't really. <laughs> so never mind. Um, Salt Spire is kind of cool. But we're gonna want to keep them from killing us right away. This card's always just useful. It's one. It's one spell mana. It's just hard to get better than like one spell mana. Like. Efficiency wise. Even if I don't like know exactly what I'm doing with the Shape Stone right now. It's hard not to play it. Time is winding. Like oh man, I hope we get to Ursine Spirit Walker this game. Well, how about that? Researchers, there's no rush. At once. 
Ooh, siphoning strike. We're kind of setting up at all, like all parts of our combo. Oh, I can't really siphoning strike that. That's too big. Gonna be a time bomb. Time bomb. They're gonna try to calling strike my zillion. That's rude. Only we have like a one mana deny for that calling strike. Oh wait, we do. How about that? Time bomb. Set up Stormclaw. Marks you need three. It's either Shape Stone or Pass. Shape Stone kind of always does something. That's only one spell mana. I'll take the Shape Stone. They don't break. Burn. Like I want to kill one of their champions with the Siphoning Strike. They're not giving me that opportunity. Damage. Make the Empire proud. I'm kind of dead. Are these city breakers. Kind of dead. I didn't even summon enough landmarks. I shouldn't have played that. Like that ancient preparations really didn't work out well. We're not dead. We're good. We got this. What's that you got there? Your path ends here. Routes closed. They put all their over there. So let's see if I go with that and then do they have like double noxion fervor to kill me? I, I can't stop double noxion fervor like kind of no matter what I do. Can't really stop double noxion fervor. Oh, no double noxion fervor. I just really want to keep their city breakers alive I guess. Yeah, so I, either way, I could I could do Shape Stone or Ice Shard when I just felt like Ice Shard puts deals one to my Nexus, and so in case of I don't know whatever, I didn't really want to deal one to my Nexus, and so I was gonna have that as like the backup plan instead of have shape instead of have Shape Stone as the backup plan. All right, so there we go. That game was pretty cool. That game we got to do our Ursine Spirit Walker thing with the Overwhelm, right? Like have you know it had Overwhelm, and then like our big Talia, big Zillion had Overwhelm, and our our rock bear with the the overwhelm also so there we go got to do our thing there that last game with spirit walker siphoning strike um yeah pretty cool pretty cool
Um, so there we go. Okay, got a 3-2. Got a 3-2. Our The game four was kind of weird. Our opponent just didn't feel like... like Our our games were kind of weird. And that's that's the thing. is like we don't always have like the perfect games, right? Like our first opponent with the Fiora player just had... Uh, didn't didn't find Fiora, right? Like they just um, you know had their fill rate happen, like where they just didn't put up any fight at all. We had another one that was gonna be strapping in for like a nice 20, 30 minute game against a zillion opponent, but I guess because of the scar grounds, they were they decided just to check out early. And then we had, uh, but we did have that game, like where our Spirit Walker got to do its thing, because you know it's it's Meme Tier Monday. We're trying to do some crazy stuff. And we got it with Spirit Walker. I kind of wouldn't mind a third Siphoning Strike to just give us more removal for champions. Because that's something that we definitely struggled with was killing champions. I wouldn't mind a third Siphoning Strike in here. Um, buff up those champions quite a bit. But uh, yeah, th there we go. Let's play some landmarks. Do some stuff. And uh, win the game. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments. Hopefully just kind of these um, unique ideas today also kind of give you some different ideas for different decks that you have been wanting to try out. Um, yeah, that's that's what it's all about. So hopefully y'all are enjoying these unique decks for Meme Tier Monday. Uh, but thank you so much for watching some Zillion Talia. I really appreciate that. And I'll see you for the next video.